Hello, everybody out there in the land of make-believe. Wolf Wizard here with the Wolf Wizard tutorial. Tutorial. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, I am going to show you how to make a uh, toggle clasp. A toggle clasp. I have never done a tutorial uh, before, so hold on to your hands, boys. Should be interesting so toggle clasp here's uh what what the toggle clasp is is take one of these here guys here like this do hickeys and then uh, one of these gears like come down down just like yarn okay so well, this guy goes oh uh, into this guy boom like a so and boom clasp the clasp it clasp the clasp the clasp don't go nowhere it stays on look at that look at that yeah, that works as nice. Okay, so now I'll show you how to make your own. Ooh, okay, so what you got to start off with is um, you need to, you'll need tools and tools, uh, all these guys, and uh, you'll need a length of a wire. A length of wire. I use twenty gauge. Twenty gauge is strong enough to hold hold without bending, um, but uh, thin enough you can deal with it. If you use a a thicker gauge wire, <clears throat> what'll happen is that the, the clasp will be very heavy and uh, the necklace might uh, might inch its way around the neck. So I've got a nice heavy bob on this necklace, but sometimes I only, I'll just maybe have a, a bead or two that don't weigh anything. If I make a clasp that's too heavy, the, uh, the necklace migrates, migrates down, and then the clasp becomes the centerpiece. It's no good. That's not how it's designed to work. So, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to uh, yeah, I just have a lighter. Make sure my, my clasp is lighter than my bob. Okay, that was a little lesson I didn't plan on teaching you, but there you go. That's a little little bonus little bonus there. Right now, we're going to learn how to make a toggle clasp today. Booyah. Okay, well, you can make it out of whatever you want. We can make it out of um, sterling silver. You can make it out of a brass if you like i was i made a little trial one just to make sure i knew what i was talking about out of brass earlier but i don't make a lot of jewelry out of brass so boom i'll use that for something else later uh also you need the tools what are you gonna need uh, you need a, a bale making player this bale making player so you go wrap it around it's like boom Dink and bail. You made a bail. Look at that. And this is a six step. It's got a bunch of different uh, sizes. Make whatever size bail you want to make. Sit that over here. But I've got my, um, I got this uh, from a guy at a place uh, through the Craigslist. And uh, I don't know what it's called. It's obviously a bail making player. But why it it, uh, it has this uh, uh, little grabber part on here that actually shapes the wire. When you pinch it, doop, shapes the wire for you, which I find handy. You can grab the wire. Now, you also got a good hold of the wire. With this one, you don't have a real good hold of the wire. And uh, and uh, yeah, I use this for some things, but I'm probably not going to use it today. Uh, you're going to also need a, uh, a chain nose player. Boop, 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 boop. Chain nose player. Uh, you're going to want uh, needle nose pliers. I got these bent guys. I like them. Hey, get in there. Okay, and then in addition, need flush cut clippers. What's a flush cut clipper, you say? What's a flush cut? Let's see if I have anything that's not flush cut. Eh. I think all my, I think all my clippers are flush cut. Uh, so what the deal is, is that, oh, if you guys can see it, I hope you can. Uh, inside here, you see it tapers in to make the blade. What, are you kidding me? You chasing a fly? I'm trying to do a tutorial here. Yeah, okay, fine. Shut up. Okay, so you can see how uh, it's got uh, little tapers in there. And uh, when you cut the wire, it leaves that shape. It leaves a little diamond shape at the top. So you would look at the end of a piece of wire that's been cut with uh, uh, just regular clippers that are... Are, uh, uh, are you kidding me? Nobody cares. Knock it off. All right, okay. Hi. Are you happy? Everybody said hi. Say hi, everybody. There, they said hi. Shut the... Damn it. Uh, so, uh, if they're tapered on both sides, when you cut the wire, it gets a little peak to it, a little, little point on it, right? Uh, but with the flush cut, it's flat here, 
when you clip the wire, boom, clips it flat. So I clipped it uh, flat. You know what? I probably didn't. So uh, see, this actually has a little peak on it. I don't know if you can tell. I know if I hold it close, can't see crap. So I'll hold it back here. You can't tell. But if I clip it this way, flattens out that top. Real nice. There's a little bit of a, a point there, but not, not as much as, uh, as with, the, uh, with the tapered end. So eh, get yourself a three inches of wire. I use 20 gauge. You got your clipper. You got your uh, uh, chain nose. You got your bale maker. And then I use uh, uh, one of these guys. I forget what it's called. I'll put it down in the description. You're liking to subscribe. I use one of these guys too. And that's just, this is, this, I use this because it's, uh, it's nylon. Go! Okay. Uh, but uh, it, uh, I can I can s smash some stuff flat. I'm going to be doing a lot of bending and flattening and bending and flattening on this piece. So uh, this, I can flatten it out real good without it leaving tool marks. I, I'm pretty aggressive making these toggles. Maybe you guys learn how to make them better, less aggressive. I leave tool marks all over my wire so that... What? I'm not letting you outside anymore. No, you've been outside. Yeah, I know. I know. Here, come here. Come here. Yeah, you better run. Trying to make a video. Can't be messing me up. Now I get to lose my concentration. What? That's what I thought. Okay, so uh, uh, we got your three inches of wire. You got your cutters, your clipper, get the thing. Oh, this here guy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to be mushing as much. Let's get you to do it. Let's just get right into it. Stop it with all these particulars. So the first thing we'll do is take this here piece of wire jar and uh, we're going to bend it. Boop, 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 right there in the very center. I got a ruler down here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to put it uh, right here on three inches and then one and a half inches from each side. I'll take my bail maker and make a, make a, make a, make a, make a boop, boop, right there. At the, wait, is that right? No, that's not right. Almost did it the wrong place. Hoo -hoo! Oh, oh, that would have been embarrassing uh, during my tutorial. I did the wrong place. So, because sometimes it's not exactly, this isn't exactly even, but you can even it up as we're as we're pulling it. So, I'm going to take this here, and, uh, you know, if you're using one of these, you guys probably have one of these. So, I'll use one of these. I'll use one of these for now. For now, I'll use one of these. Okay, so, and this probably, these here probably put less tool marks on the piece. So, doobie doo. See it pretty even. It's, it's got to be exact doesn't have to be exact. It's nice It's nice to be as even as possible. I'll try to even it out a little bit more. At your bow. At your bow. See, this is easier when I can get a better hold of it, to tell you the truth. I like my other one better. So, okay, now that they're even, now I'm going to twist them. I'm going to twist them all the way around so that they are running parallel. Parallel? With each other. I don't think that is parallel. In the same direction. In the same direction, straight line. I'm trying to create a straight line is what I'm trying to say. Yar. Okay. Now the toggle is going to end up being one inch, one inch. So this is simple enough. Got this here. Uh, and oh, I'm going to flatten it out. It looks pretty good. And I'm going to take my thing. I'll flatten it just a little bit. Just, I just, I just gave it a little. And one of the other reasons is I I, I like to use tools on it a lot is that I'm trying to I'm trying to harden up this silver as I go because uh, the, the more you work silver the harder it gets so I'm pretty aggressive with my tools later on I'm gonna hit it with a hammer oh 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 spoiler alert okay so here we got it twisted once like you are uh, now now we're going to twist it you I can't see. I don't like this. We're going to take this off of here. I like this one. I'm going to use this other one. Well, all right. Here we're going to do. Okay. So we'll put it back on here and get it out. We want to twist it around like uh, like you're putting a tie on a, uh, uh, bread. It's to put ties on bread. Are you kidding me? With the meowing. I might just let you out. Yeah. You know, there's dogs out there, right? Oh, yeah. You're tough. You talk tough, don't you, little kitty? Yeah, I'm making a video. So, okay, so we twisted that all the way around here, like yar, like yar. I hope you guys can see this. Don't know if you can. I don't have a monitor. Still, it's not very flat. See, it's kind of hanky. I'm going to get that nice and straight. Now, as we, every time I do something, this gets bent all out of whack. And I, I straighten it back up each time uh, just because just I, I get it. 
I just cause I do. You know, if it gets bent out a lot of whack, I don't, I don't even know what would happen. So I make sure that all my bends are in the right place before I move on to the next step. And this looks pretty good, but, uh, you know, my arm's a little wanky here. It's got just some bends in it, so I'm going to flatten that out. Mushy, 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 straight it out. I'm going to mushy in the middle. Mushy in the middle here like this. Glink. Oh, see, a little bit that out of shape. But see, now that, that, that knot in there, that twist in there is nice and tight. Uh, that's important that it doesn't come untwisted. And uh, working that working that silver so it's a little snugger, a little harder, a little tougher. Okay, that actually that looks pretty straight there. I'm liking that. Oh, well, looks pretty straight there. I'm liking that. So, uh, now, oh, now we're going to make the bends. And it, you have to have a, it's nice to have something on the end of here. Uh, basically, you have to have something on there. This is going to just poke people in the neck. You get poked. You don't get poked. So I'm going to loop those up. I'm going to loop those up. This is where you'd put the bead on. Now you'd put your bead on if you were putting a bead on. But I'm not putting a bead on. Yeah, I'm not putting a bead on. It's none of your business what I do. Jeez, such critical. You're just critical, critical, critical all the time, kitty. Okay, so how do we do this? Oh, right. We want we want this to be an inch. So uh, I'm going to uh, drop this down on my ruler here. And uh, right in the center, I'm going to put that divot right on the half inch line of one of these inches. And... Oh, put that right in the half inch line over here on the first full inch line. And I make my I'm using this. You guys use whatever you want. I'm using this. I'm just used to it. Uh, I make my fur my my bend here. Boop. Make a bend. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Huh? You have food. You have water. I gave you fresh kitty litter. I've done everything that I'm legally obligated to do for you. Your sister isn't bitching at me all the time. Why don't you get off my butt? Okay, so. Uh, about an inch there. So so basically that's a half inch, right, Char? I'm gonna, and we're going to work with just this end now. Uh, and I'm going to bend it all the way. We're going to bend it all the way so that, that it is parallel, right? Parallel with itself. Parallel with itself. Now, that's too big a bend there, and that's when I get these guys out. Now, you guys, you figure out how to do this. You don't have these. You figure out how to do this. Uh, you could use a pair of pliers. I could do this with these uh, uh, chain nose. Just got to be real careful, right? And I've done this. I've done this a few times, so I know how much pressure. You put too much pressure on here, you're just going to mush it. You, you want a little space in there. So right now that's too much space. Yeah, it's a full amount of space in there. So I'm going to take this here guy here. And oh, mushy, mushy. Oh, mushy, mushy. And mushy, mushy. So I want, I, I'm gonna, I want it to be where the outside right here to here. Not the inside. I'm not measuring the inside. Let's, let's get a little too technical. But the outside, when I put that down, I want that to be about a quarter of an inch. And is about a quarter of an inch. I'm actually mushing down a little bit more. And I'm, I'm, I'm like just minute adjustments here, but I mean, this is good enough, but I want it better. I want it a little bit better. And again, you know, when we got a little bit more, I can do it. There we go. There we go. I like it. All right. Now I've got to bend this. I'm going to bend the rest of this wire down on the end here, wrap it around. I'm gonna bend it, yink, and then wrap it. All right, and I'm gonna need uh, to have something to, to hold the wire, right? This is where it gets all, this, this wire gets all bent up here like this. Uh, so I put this in, that's about the size I want the, 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 the space to be. Uh, and you judge, you judge you know, for yourself about you know, how much you want. So I stick it on there about to there. And then I pick a side uh, which side do I pick? Ah, okay. So you see here how the wire I'm, I'm using uh, and I'm using here has uh, it bends on the outside, right? So there's there's the second wire comes out and up. This wire comes out and down. So I want to bend it inside, right, to where that wire is already coming out. 
And I, you don't have to. You can bet it either way you want. I just do it. I don't know. It, it just seems right that uh, the space is taken up uh, on the inside, not the outside. I don't know if that's right or not. That's just how I do it. The other side, I do it the same way. And that's just so I got some symmetry uh, on it. So one way goes one way, the other goes the other. I have just chosen that that side as the logical side to do it on. I think you can do it on either side. I think I'm just being kind of, kind of, uh, uh, I just, I just needed a, a way. Oh, just dropped it there. I just needed a, a side, like, oh, which side am I going to do it on? That's the side I decided to do it on. But whichever side you decide to do it on, just make sure you do it opposite on the other. You know what I'm saying? Sound song? All right, so get that in there. I'm going to bend this down here like that. And now I'm starting to really, now I'm starting to really get some tool marks on this, um, on this wire. But I'm going to go back in with some sandpaper and, uh, and I'll try to get some of those tool marks off. That you guys aren't going to see. You have it, uh, I'll give you, if you guys, insist i'll give you a, a a tutorial on how to buff out your toggles uh, i'm gonna think of buff your toggle are you yeah, yeah, it's all right all right never mind i'm a child okay so you see what i'm doing is i'm just wrapping this around here and uh uh once you get you got a nice tail on there i i hate wasting wire and uh, most times i'm measuring things out i measure them out so that i have extra wire so I have a tail I, I should have an extra half an inch on this right so that I have more tail to bend on I want to use the rest of this still right but I got no more grip and it's getting a little tough so um I uh that's when the chain 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 nose chain nose chain nose players come in and uh I'm gonna just kind of help it yep yep it goes a little tricky I'm gonna do this over here and I see this I gotta see me I gotta see what I'm doing here, guys. All right, so I'm just just a little at a time too. Uh, if you just grab the end and try to bend it, it's gonna bend off funny. You wanna you wanna just uh, you're kind of like um, curling it around a little bit. So I'm just did a little bit at a time. I start here really, and I just kind of I just kind of bend it in and over on this side here. Itty boo, itty be. Beat you bow. Yep, there we go. All right. Uh, so a little bit of tip on there. I, I would clip it off maybe um, if there was any more than that, but I'm just going to keep rolling around because it's not going to not going to do any harm to the the look of it aesthetically. Sometimes you got too much on there. You wrap it around a little more. And uh, I like that it looks like it's got uh, looks got two uh, wraps on this side. It's got two wraps on this side. I come around anymore, it's going to start looking like three wraps on this other side. But if I end it on the top here, um, it'll look okay. And as you can see. All right. So, and then I just try to push the tip of this down so that I don't have to do too much sanding i like to you know if that if that wire was sticking up oh that is actually really doesn't catch at all good job bark me uh so uh so if it was sticking up there a little bit more i couldn't get it down yeah i'm gonna have to sand it a little bit but not much i'll come back in here do, 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 get a file actually and file that down so it isn't all pokey i don't like things pokey you don't want to wear jewelry that's pokey i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side uh same thing did this side I'm doing to this side you don't need to watch now you know what i'll show you i'll show you you guys, uh, it's going to take me a minute. I'm doing the same thing. If you want to skip ahead in the video, you know, feel free to do it. But uh, maybe I'll run into a problem that I didn't run into when I was doing this one. So same thing. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to measure out a half an inch. I'm going to give it a little kinky kinky. Oh, hanky kinky. Boo. Hey, there you go. And um, do the same thing I just did. I'm not going to talk you through it. Cat might have something. You got anything to say about this cat? No? You good? All right, so cat's good. I'm good. We're just gonna go ahead and do. I'll make some noises because I actually do when I'm making my jewelry. I'm down talking myself, and uh, or I'm watching. Um, or I'm watching. Um, uh, 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 what's that show I watch all the time? Deadwood. I watch Deadwood constantly. I just basically have Deadwood on a loop. I just started watching it uh, recently. Uh, for the first time, and now it's it's the only thing I watch. I can't really, it's, it's ruined all of the television for me. Uh, okay, there we go. See, parallel. I got that nice and smashed down about how I like it. A little more. 
gonna give it a little bit more smooshy smooshy. There we go. All right, like I said, I'm gonna bend it onto the inside. Where's my thing? Where's my other thing? Here's my thing. All right, so I bend it around now. Got it bent down. Now we bring it around. And we'll see. Oh, God, it's looking like a thing. This is looking like a thing. All right, now I got to the point where I'm poking my thumb. Someday I'll have enough callus on here. The guy who taught me how to do uh, jewelry at the Pratt Institute, his, his, he had just little anvils for fingers. His, his fingers were square and all callus. I don't even know if there was any finger left. It was bone and callus, but they were each each one was a different uh, size anvil, and he just uh, he, nothing. He could just bend anything he wanted with this. Uh, but I. I have, um, I have soft hands. I have soft hands and soft skin, so I, I haven't developed the callus. Uh, like, uh, I forget his name. He's a good teacher. So seriously nice silver, uh, uh, chalices. And, uh, stop wiggling. Stop wiggling, you wiggling wiggler. It looks like I got a little too much on here. Did I get not enough? Yeah, just a, just a, I mean, that's a hair too much. Uh, I'm, I'm doing, I'll tell you what I'm doing is what I, just what I was telling. See, I, why I wasn't going is I was just grabbing the end and trying to pull it down. And I got to remember, I got to come from the back. I get anxious, so come from the back and just do it a little at a time. Just a little at a time. There we go. See, now it's working just fine. So I, that's, uh, the, uh, the other way that I was just doing it and not working, that's how I go at it every time, almost. And then I forget, I forget. That if you use techniques, see now that's coming around a little too much. I'd like to clip that off of there. I'm gonna clip that off of there. I'm gonna clip that off of there. I'm gonna clip off just that little bit if I can. If I can't get if I can't get in there to do it, I won't. Uh, can I get in there? Yeah, I can get in there a little bit. I'm gonna take just a smidge off of that. Be careful not to clip anything else. I just got a little bit off of there. Flatten it down the rest of the way. Yeah, because it was rolling over onto that other side. Rolling over onto that other side. Okay. So it's just about there. It's just a little, it's a little misshapen. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Shaping this guy up. Flatten this guy out there. You're a lady. I'm not going to assume it's, well, I, if it's a toggle, sh toggle, the other one, definitely. If I was going to make any assumptions, this would be the guy uh, out of the two toggle pieces. But, uh, Enough of that. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to mush it up. I mush it. I just flatten everything out in the directions that I want it to be flat in. This is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And I just want everything going in the same direction. I want it to look real symmetrical. Oh, you love the symmetry. There it is. That's the toggle right there. Boom. It's done. We're done. Done with the toggle. We'll do the other one. We'll do the end. We'll do the other part of the toggle that the thing goes through. The loop. We'll do the loop here. But there it is. Boom. Now what I'm going to do later is I'll take a file and file down those ends. And then I'll take some sandpaper. And I've got some, some tool marks in here. I've got some real fine grade sandpaper. I'm going to get in there and just sand those down. Just so it doesn't feel rough on the skin. I don't think people look at that that closely. Um, so now if you are going to put a bead on there, uh, careful, I, I, I break about one out of five beads when I'm, when I'm smushing this down, I snap beads. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. If you, if you're going to put beads on, you know, you'll go, you might end up breaking a couple beads. So let's make the other end and I'm going to make it right on the wire. I'm not going to cut a wire to size. Uh, I'm just going to make it uh, straight up like this. This is simple. So take your piece of wire and uh, I leave, uh, how much do I leave? I've never really noticed. Yeah, about a half an inch. So I'll do about a half an inch and then I'll bend it around. 
Uh, doo -doo. This is so simple. It's so simple. It's so simple. All right, make a bend. Have it there like that. That's what it looks like. There like that. And now I'm going to bend this around. Now, in this case, I left plenty of tail to play with. I like to play with tail. Uh, just because I don't like fiddling around. I, I really found that difficult trying to bend that stuff around with the, with the chain nose player. So this is much easier. Go around once. And then the second time. Okay, and then I'm done. Then I'm done. So again, looks like there's two on this side, boom, boom, and then two on this side, right? Now I'm going to clip that tail. Clip that tail. Yes, sir. Surrey Bob. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Come on already. All right, flush side. Boom, there we go. All right. And I will get my nose pliers up here. See, this is a little separated. These uh, the uh, coils aren't all that tight, so I'm gonna tighten them up. And I tighten them up against each other. If you stick the wire in here, start wrenching on it, you're gonna change the the shape of this loop. Which I mean, if you know what you're doing, it's you know sometimes you have to. Um, but I don't have to this time. I'm just tightening up the coils directly. Come on, be a jerk. Let me go to bed. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's about right. Is that about right? That's about right. That's looking good. All right. Now, let's see. I, I, I was grabbing at these with that, but I'm leaving tool marks. These don't leave tool marks. So if I'm flattening stuff, I get anxious, guys. So sometimes I just do stupid things. And then I regret it. But since I'm doing a tutorial, I ought to show you guys the right way to do stuff so that it looks pretty. Okay, we're just about there. Um, now, I use this as my measure. Uh, just so I, I use this as my measure for all of my stuff. So all of my stuff is the same length. But uh, after I do this, I'll figure out. Uh, so I, I, I take the uh, time to try to uh, bend it the opposite way that I, I bent the bottom, uh, bent this way, right? So I'm going to bend this one that way. Uh, and the thing is, so what did I say? That one's bent this way, so I'm going to bend this one this way. So I just use this kind of hold on to it, and then doop, do the bend. And now that bend is where I'm going to make my second loop. Now, <clears throat> i got to be able to get that toggle through there, right? That's not it. Where my toggle go? i got to be able to get this toggle through here. So I need a big enough loop on there um, to do that. And uh, I don't even think that this one is big enough on here. So this is why I have this one here. So we'll go with, I'm going to go with the largest on here. And I don't know what size that is, but I'll put it down in the link in the description. Uh, so we'll put that in there. Get in there, you squirrely son of a gun. All right. So and just bend it around. Get that tight onto the edge. Bend it around. Bend it around. It's kind of making a question mark. It's kind of a question mark there like that. Here, let's show you like that. Now I'm going to wrap it. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to wrap it two more times, just like I did all the other things so everything's got two coils everything has uh, even spacing so see got it right there on that like that i'm gonna bend it around here now there's one now it's kind of bent out of shape so as i bend this in i want this flat i want this flat so that the, my coil is tight and it doesn't have any give to it so and i even give it a little tug here see it works so much better so, yeah, got a good, good tug, get everything flat, and I'm going to pull this tight. That's when I'm pulling tight. That's why I leave this extra wire on, so now I don't have to worry about wasting wire or tail or anything like that, because I'm just going to cut the whole thing off. I'm going around, looks like twice on this side, twice, two coils. I got two coils on here, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. I just got to do the clip. Oh, we're going to clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. This time, get out of here. Packaging, I don't know even here. Um, you know, I'm gonna tighten this up before I clip it. Tighten it, Boop. tighten those coils, tighten your coils, tighten them, make them look nice. It's a little wonky. I'll get to that. I might fix this wonkiness. It's a little wonky over here. I might, might be able to fix that. It's not wonky enough. I gotta start over. I, I'll start if I do something like it's too wonky. I'll just make another one. I mean, silver, silver is expensive, but it's not that expensive that I gotta worry about losing a couple inches here or there. Uh, so let's clip this guy. I'll clip that tight. Now that coil's coming around. Yeah, it's not tight enough, actually. Let's get in there. Let's get in there with this. Let's get in there. Let's help you along. 
And I'm just, I'm, I'm curling. I'm not actually, I'm not mushing, I'm not mushing. I'm just using it kind of, kind of as a finger, as a hard metal finger. All right, now I'm clipping that doggy right off of there. Now I've coiled it farther, uh, farther. I'm going to clip it in to the coil. So I coiled it a little further than I wanted to so that I would have a nice coil in there. I won't have to do too much pushing down on there. So, boop, boop, boop. I do, if you coil, if you do that, you lose. See, now the end of that's all kind of bent. So I'm going to have to clip that off. That's not, that's, that's no big deal. No big deal. And I'm just going to straighten it out here and tighten it up here. We're going to tighten it up here. Now see that, that. That's coming up a little high there. So gonna, now I am going to put the the tool through because it's already a little wonky anyway. I'll have to straighten it up. Uh, we we'll use this flat guy. We flatten you. You're flat, and while I'm flattening it, I'm straightening out the thing, and now we'll flatten it again. Get in there and wish it up real good, now, guys. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. All right, that's it. There's your toggle. That's it. You know, this kind of ugly toggle. My other, the other toggle I showed you in the beginning was a little better. I'm trying to do it so that you can see it, and I can't see it very well. It's not the worst toggle I've ever made. Is it? Is it? It's a little big. It's a little big. You know what? I used the two biggest size. I used the biggest one. I could have used the second biggest one on there. You know? That's going to work, though. It'll hold. It'll hold once it goes through. I mean, it ain't going to go nowhere. That's for sure. You know, that'll stick in there. But uh, yeah, it's a little big. It's a little big. I think maybe that's why I think it looks wonky. I'll try to straighten it out here. You know, if it's if it's not the right size, just put it on, on your bale uh, maker and give it a tug, you know, and mold it. Just mold it on there. So, here we go. Let's see if I can get just a better, look a little better, a little better shape on this thing because it wasn't quite as round. It's a little better. It's a little better looking. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. So, there you go. There is your loop. And this is not the one that we just made. Where's the one we just made? Oh, I lost it. I lost it. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. There we go. There we go. There is your toggle right there. We made. That's the tutorial. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Stay cool. And support your local wizard. Yay.